In today's video, we'll be looking into cooling system as a topic. And the part of the covering includes the definition, the purpose, the types, the components of various types of cooling system. So these are what we're covering today. Coming to the definition, I want to give you a trick on how you can go about defining anything in education, most especially when it consists of combination of words. Currently now we have two words. The first is cooling, and the second says system. Now the word cooling is derived from the word cool. And cool simply means a reduced temperature. or a low temperature. While system, system means collection of components or parts. Working together as one in order to achieve a specific objective, which is the purpose. So we have pulling. Got from the word cool, which means a reduced temperature or a low temperature. Why six simply means a collection of various component of parts working together as one in order to achieve a specific purpose. So come to the definition right now. We say cooling system is defined as the collection. of various components of parts. Now let's expand this collection of components of parts by looking into the example. So what are those components collected together? We have the radiator, we have the pipe, we have the hose, which also the pipe, we have the thermostats. And so, on. so let's do that there. So as radical pi thermostats A to C. Now, working together as one in order in order to achieve now instead of having in order to achieve a specific purpose we now look into the purpose and what is the purpose of this system? What is the purpose of this component related together? The purpose is to reduce the temperature of an engine. The purpose is to lower the temperature of an engine. So we'll move down here, say, uh, in order to remove this achieve, in order to reduce the temperature of an engine. By definition, we have cooling system is defined as a collection of various components or parts such as radiator, pipe, thermostat, etc. area, working together as one in order to reduce the temperature of an engine. This is the definition to cooling system. So let's take this down. Now coming to the second, which is the purpose. 
The purpose has been stated already in the definition, which is to reduce the temperature of an engine. If you can remember or recall uh, the working principle of an engine, during the third stroke, which is a power stroke, it says that um, the mixture of air and fire is being compressed, thereby PC moving from BDC towards TDC. And through the help of the spark plug with the ignition system, spark is being introduced into the mixture of air and fuel, and that causes combustion. And whenever we have combustion, which means burning, rise in temperature of the engine. And that temperature is what we are to reduce with the help of the cooling system, with the help of various components related together as the cooling system. Now, coming to the types of cooling system. There are two types of cooling system used in vehicle. Uh, the first is the water cooling system, which is also called the thermosiphon cooling system. On the second is the air cooling system. So under the first, we have water cooling system. And the second is the air cooling system. In water cool system, this is an engine that makes use of the water as its coolant. Now, we want to ask what is coolant? Coolant simply means uh, a substance that is used to reduce the temperature of an engine. This currently is, um, focuses on water and air. There are some engines in which Oil serves as cool and we are not going to that in this topic. What we are considering is water and air as cool and so um, water cool system is associated mostly to four stroke engines. It's associated mostly to four stroke engines. So if you are looking into um, four cylinder engines, six cylinder engines, eight cylinder engines you discover that water is used and most of the engine that uses water as its coolant we have radiator being a compulsory component because the radiator is a device that stores water so we'll get to look into that when we get to the components why I put system we talk about two stroke cycle engine Most of these engines are uh, don't actually make use of radiator. They are small engines when compared to the four stroke engine. So we are done with the types. We have to type. Now comes the component. Now the component of water cool system, the first, so let's take this out, we have components. We have radiator. What is a radiator? A radiator is a reservoir. It is a tank to store the water, which is used to reduce the temperature of an engine. So the radiator is a reservoir. Then we have the pipe. Okay, let's take a pipe. Let's write hose. Pipe is made of metal. Why hose is made up of rubber? They serve the same purpose. The hose is a channel to transport water. It is a channel to Allow water flows around the system from the radiator through the engine cylinder was back to the radiator. Then we have two hose, the lower hose and the upper hose. The water leaves the radiator from the lower hose and gets back to the radiator through the upper hose. Then we have water pump. We have a pump. What is the purpose of the pump? You might want to ask. Now, the radiator, the water from the radiator will not flow evenly if there is no pump. So the pump serves as a device that pressurizes the flow of water, thereby allowing the water to circulate the system. So the pump serves as a means to pressure the water or the flow of water. Then the last we're looking into is the thermostat. The thermostat is a switch. Now, the water in the radiator, or the water will not move around the system 
unless it has gotten to a specific temperature. When it gets to that temperature, there is a device called wax, the pallet wax inside the thermostat. Now, with the help of the pallet wax, it, it opens the thermostat, thereby allowing the flow of water to move around the system. And um, that is a major component, or these are the major components of the water flow system. I would like us to look into um, my question and general and education course the examination. This is Jane's access to promotion examination. Uh, we have some questions relating to cooling system. In the theoretical parts, question one, it's all about cooling system. So one it says explain the term cooling system. One it says measure for component of water cooling system. One it says list two examples of water cooling system. Now coming to the first one, it says explain the term cooling system. So what is expected here is just the definition because even the line is short, so it's just the definition. And by definition we say cooling system is defined as a collection of various components or parts such as radiator, pipe, thermostat, etc. working together as one in order to reduce the temperature of an engine. So that has been solved. Then one B says mention for components of water cooling system. And what are the components? The component mentioned we have the radiator, we have the hose, we have the pump, and we have the thermostat, which has been discussed earlier on. Then one it says, leads to advantages of water and air cooling system. One of the advantages of water cooling system is that the engine cools in from there, and the water is a thing that you don't even have to purchase the water anyway. So. Uh, although some countries have to purchase water, but here in Nigeria, water is a thing that you get anyway. So the means of uh, of cooling the engine is a thing that it's easily purchased anyway. So it does one of the advantages. Then coming to air cool system, air cool system can be used for smaller engines, as I mentioned earlier. So definitely, the heat produced by such engine shouldn't be much to the extent of living crops in the engine. So with the help of air, air is the thing that we get anywhere. We use air to live, so we breathe in a breathed air. And even as a rider, when you go, you go against air. So it's another advantage to air cool system. So air it's the thing that you don't need to put you don't need to buy. It. Okay, so it's an advantage. While do we have another question? Question 24 it says thermostat are installed between the dash. So we have some options there. The first option says pump inlet and the radiator, pump outlet and water jacket, water jacket and the radiator, radiator and fan. Now, the thermostat is installed between the upper hose. This upper hose is the outlet, while the lower hose is the inlet. It's the inlet. So it is located between the upper hose and the radiator. So